um, in the Lil Zay Osama case. Oh yeah, was... they they stopped tried to stop him from getting a bond based solely on the lyrics. With That's the nuts. Young Thug case, the Gunner case. A lot of the, what's happening in the pre-trial is based solely on the lyrics. At trial, mm-hmm. in order to make those relevance, th- those lyrics admissible, relevant evidence, they're going to have to tie it together and put those other facts. Otherwise, you'll hear the attorney object and say, "What does this have to do with anything?" Foundation. You got to lay the foundation. But mm-hmm. right now, the way it is, before you get to trial, those lyrics are being used against you to deny you a bond. That's bullshit. Yeah. Yo, how did Lil like? How does Lil Samuel like beat that case? Was it like just uh, what? If I, if I had to guess, yeah. so Osama was accused of possessing a gun, and yeah. they were saying that they knew that based on an Uber driver saying it. Mm-hmm. And so, no Uber driver, no case. I'm guessing the Uber driver wasn't going to testify. Ah, here, right, but like, so here, right, so look, right, so like, I'm just just assuming, right, that when they like. You know, like went back to like try to arrest him, right? He could have said, "No, nah, like, like that's not mine," and he's lying. So, like, how did they make a determination and say, "Okay, this, like, this Uber driver is telling the truth"? Well, I think what happened it, is, is the is. Uber driver finds a gun in his car, calls yeah. the police. The yeah. police are like, "All right, who was in the car last?" He probably then gave him whoever his Uber passenger was. Mm-hmm. Maybe they had some footage, and then the cops probably showed him you know, pictures of the guys, and they said, well, which one of these guys did you see with the gun? And the mm-hmm. driver probably pointed them out, and they went and picked them up. Oh, wow. And then, I'm get, I don't know. I'm yeah. just assuming that's why he was charged. Because mm-hmm. there was multiple people in the car. The Uber driver found the gun. How do you choose Osama? The driver or, or video camera footage inside the car would have to lead to Osama. So, A couple weeks later, I'm get. Go ahead. So, let's say, uh, I, how do I get out of this scenario? I am the Uber driver. The passenger leaves the gun. I don't want to go to the police, but I don't want to get caught with this gun. What do I do? Call the police. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Wipe it but clean, if you, take if it you, home. If we're take talking yours. about what is the right thing to do. No, I'm not talking about I'm, I'm, I cannot go to the police because I'm scared. I'm just saying I'm scared that whoever's gun is, they're going to find out that I snitched on them. So I don't want to go through that. But I need to get rid of this gun. Right, because they're going to go through the Uber records, likely, Mm -hmm. and be like, this is... I I mean, if you try to get rid of that gun, and you believe that you're trying to avoid snitching on this individual who's going to get in trouble. Not even just, I want to protect myself. So I just don't, I don't oh, want to involve myself right, at all. Right, right, Cause right. Because he doesn't, yeah. I'm the Uber driver. I Because my thing, I feel like that Uber driver probably didn't want to snitch, but it's like, what the fuck do I do right, right, to get right. this gun out of my car? Because think about your Uber driver and the gun's left in your car and it's like, fuck. You don't, don't want to get shot by them, but you don't want to get caught by the police. Yeah, so, so you're what stalled. am I going to do with the gun? That's a good question, bro. I don't know. That's why I can't be Uber driver because that's the that, yeah. in that scenario. Even him not testifying is like Shit, he listen. probably was too scared to be called the gun and it's saying it's his at that point. Oh yeah, yeah. he probably called the police because he wanted to just be safe and he had to do something with the gun. But anyway, I'm guessing a couple weeks later mm-hmm. after they picked up Osama and they're preparing the case and mm-hmm. whatnot, the driver probably went disappeared or just said, "Yo, I'm not testifying." Witness protection. It should man, bruh. If I'm some, I'm saying, nah, that nigga lying. That's his shit. You feel me? That's not my shit. But that is his shit, right? <laughs> that's snitching. Yeah. That's yeah. snitching as a street. If I'm like, that is not mine, that's the. That's what I'm saying. It's so fucked yeah. up because even Osama, he can't be like, yo, that's the. Because why are you snitching on the driver? Why are you cooperating with police saying that that's his gun? It's all fucked up scenario just leaving a gun anywhere. 